and welcome to Terra Special. In this video tutorial, I'll be showing you how to add labels to point, line, and polygon in QGIS. So we just begin with the point, and you can see these are the data which are available. So we'll be first dealing with the point. So let me open the attribute table and show you the information about these points. So you can see here, so it is having name, distance from city location x and y value and type of so type a settlement silo station likewise so now let us uh, in order to add the label right click on this point layer and go to the option properties so here on the from the top you can find labels on the fourth option so you can see that no labels has been defaultly uh, enabled so now we need to click here and we need to select single labels after selecting simple labels in the bottom you can find as value where you can uh, select the appropriate field which you are interested for example I need the field location to be labeled for this feature so I am going to select location likewise if you want your uh, type you can select type anything which you are interested that has to be showed in label so here I am going to select the option location after selecting the option lo location uh, you can see here formatting uh, type case here if you want to have uppercase you can have uppercase if you want uh, only the uh, title to, to be uh, uppercase you can select accordingly so here I am going to select title case and you can choose the spacing, spacing of letter, spacing of words here. You can select it. After selecting it, let me apply it. So you can see here the labels has been successfully created for the points. So you can see few location doesn't have any labels so that, that is why it doesn't show up. Now go to the uh, next option, text style, here you can uh, select the fonts, for example if you want uh, Times New Roman, you can select Times New Roman, If you can use the uh, style as bold or bold italic or italic, likewise options are being given, you can increase or reduce the size, so let me here reduce the size. So I'm just reducing the size to 8 and you can see you can pick up the color. So let me leave it to the default color black and once again apply it and you can see the differences you can see here. After doing it you can see the option buffer. So you can, you can highlight this text using buffer. You can select draw text buffer and if you want you can increase or decrease the size. You can choose the color to the buffer. For example, I am going to choose yellow color. And here you can select the opacity where you can reduce the transparency level of the buffer. For example, let me reduce it to 80 percentage and here in the paint joint style you can select accordingly whether it should be a uh, edges should be sharp like this or it should be round or it should be like bevel so here i'm going to select round and uh, you can see the blend mode normal highlight uh, lighten screen or dodge likewise you can see any, select any of this select the option apply you can see the difference out here Now let me unselect it, we just move on to the next option, background, here you can uh, select the background, for example, if you want a rectangle shape to be backgrounded over here, let me apply it and it is not showing up because we haven't selected any color, so you can select any of the color, for example, 
let me go with the gray color over here and if you want you can select the color here itself here also you can select the color you can uh, reduce the transparency let me click ok and apply it you could see here the rectangle box has been created if you don't like rectangle you can use square square eclipse likewise you can use accordingly so let me use the rectangle shape so next we can use the shadow option you can see a sh shadow effect below the text file has been come up you can use this uh, shadow option you can change the degree of the shadow like this you can change the degree of the shadow you can change it up you can use this uh, call out options for let me show you call out apply it you can see you can see here a line has been drawn you can use the curved lines for example let me apply it and show you so likewise you can use once again go to the option properties you can uh, select the placement for example here you can select cartographic you just can see here it is uh, looking uh, much nicer than the previous level you can see here and you can also use the offset point you can customize it for example if you want the uh, text above the uh, label to be uh, top of the uh, point you can use it you can apply it and you can see the difference how it looks like and you can move it anywhere like this you can move move the text uh, the uh, right center or uh, right up like this you can move it you can select the offset for example if you want to move the uh, label by y value let me increase the y value sorry let me increase the x value the label will be moving like this you can see here likewise you can move the y value also you can see here the y value has been moved also moved here so let me stick back to the cartographic so you can uh, label the point feature in qgis like this so let me apply it and give ok so after doing so so the line also has the same uh, you can label the line using the same uh, procedure once again let me go to the option properties and here we can select this uh, single labels after selecting simple labels you can uh, choose the text so for example i need to have the arial narrow you can select arial narrow uh, bold and italic together you can use it you can use a uh, underline you can strike out you can increase or decrease the size now let me apply it and show you you can see here now let me increase or decrease the size likewise you can choose you can choose the colors as well that i have shown you previously same thing you can format for example it should be in uh, upper case you can select upper case spacing you can increase the spacing let me increase the spacing apply it you can see over here same thing if you want you can create buffer you can select the color you can select any color you can just have a look at look at here 
how nice it is coming up you can select the background if you want you can select the background too you can apply the background let me select it as black color let us see how it looks like so it is not uh, much uh, nice you can add some more colors like this you can add colors let me remove the buffer and show you like this you can add you can change the text color so that it will be looking good let me use the white color over here apply it you can just see here you can customize it same same thing you can add shadow you can call out you can place it accordingly here you can place it uh, parallel or in a curved manner if you can see here in a curved manner it has been placed so you can see here in a curved manner it has been placed likewise you can uh, place it if you want you can place it horizontally too if you want you can place it on the line or below the line i have placed it below the line likewise you can do so let me apply it and give okay and now finally we just see the polygon same procedure right click on it and go to the option properties here you can add the labels by selecting simple labels single labels select the text if you want it bold you can select bold you can select the letters that is a uh, font style you can use underline increase or decrease the size and yeah upper case you can add buffer and shadows call outs and you can finally have the placement so in the placement you can have it in a free angled manner or around the centroid let me show you how it looks like apply it you can just see over here how it is looking like around the center or you can have it as horizontally you just have a extra properties over here you can just check out it outside polygon you have a, you can have it outside polygon anyway on this android so it will be good so now let me apply it and give okay so you can see here so likewise you can label the point line and polygon in qjs if you have any doubts in this please to ask in the comment section i will be answering your questions thanks for watching tell us special goodbye everyone